And okay, hello, we are back. Hello. Welcome. Hello. To the no. high button. High button. Podcast. Podcast. The Podcast. date is April 13th. It's a Thursday. The year is 2017. 17. Do you work tomorrow? I do at 8.30 a.m. Till 3? 3, yeah. We'll, we'll do the podcast later then. Because I'm off tomorrow, yeah. Okay. Um, we're on episode number 32. Who was a good uh, ath- athlete that wore the number Shaq. 32? Shaq. He wore 32. 32 is a big... Uh, would you say it's a big football number? I don't really follow football that much. Was it a big basketball number? Shaq wore it. I don't think it's big in any sport. Thirty-two. It's a weird number. It's just yeah. I don't. I, Shaq's probably the most significant athlete. Speaking of Shaq, I was watching a video today on YouTube, and it was Shaq at a famous basketball court in New York called Rutgers Park. Do you know anything about this? Oh, Rucker Bas- Park. Ruck- Rucker Park. Yeah. Not yeah. Rutgers. Rucker. Yeah. Do you know? I just watched a cool video. You didn't on know it. about Rucker. I didn't Park? know Rucker. Oh, it was it a cool. It amazes me that you don't know about these places. Yeah. You never seen Durant go off at Rucker Park. Every Kobe. Oh, oh, I saw Durant at the when he's playing outdoors. Goes, I didn't know that was at Rucker Park. That's but, like like a lot like most like if you're a huge basketball player, you're supposed to play one game there. Well, that's what I was going to continue to say. Like I saw Kobe there, then I saw Allen Iverson was there, and then uh, yeah, Kevin Durant was there. Shaq you know, showed up. Jay Z and and Fat Joe used to have an All Star game every year, and they had their own. They both coached their own teams, and that's then awesome. and then one year, one of them didn't show up. I forget who. And then they won't talk to each other because of it. Why? Like that's why they won't acknowledge each other. I forget who fucked up. Anyways, the, some remarkable videos on the YouTube uh, about oh, Russia Shaq? Park. Shaq, he didn't play, but he uh, he was just there, like sitting courtside, oh, like you seen Durant's people. video. Yeah, where he pulled up from half court. I, well, yeah. I watched them all today. I watched like yeah. five videos. Did you see the today. one when Vince Carter did the the alley oop? I didn't watched? see the Vince Carter one. because it was raining that day, so they went indoors, and that's when he did. He caught the alley oop to the windmill. Oh, the alley oop windmill. Yeah. Um, the guy that holds the mic and he just commentates the game. Like they have speakers all around. Who's the, the greatest? The, the, his oh, fuck. There was this? a cool picture of back in the day. I think it was Doctor J. It might have been. Just type in Rucker Park. No, I'm I'm doing something else. But there's an amazing picture of Rucker Park back in like maybe the '60s, and there's people on top of the building, and surrounding the basketball court, and it's just this one guy. Anyways, it's an incredible picture. Yeah. I gotta show it to you. Yeah, I gotta find what I'm looking for. What's what his you- name? What is his name? Oh, the greatest to never play in the NBA. Doctor J? No, he played in the NBA. Oh, the greatest to ever not play. And this is the picture I'm talking about. How cool! There's people sitting on the roof. Oh yeah, yeah. How cool Man, is it's, that? It's, it's and huge. that's Doctor J. Oh, can you look up? We're not gonna find it. Anyways, if There's- I ever do go to New York, I want to go to this. Uh, about not to play. Yeah. I would never step foot on that court to play, but I'd love to go and uh, just take a look. There was a guy. What was his name? I can't believe I can't think of this. So this guy, he was great, but he never played in the NBA? Yeah, he's like the, they say he's the greatest of all time. To oh, never. the GOAT, he's called. The GOAT. Yeah, what was his name? I'm going to find it up. The GOAT basketball. He had a movie about him. Um, Earl? Earl? Earl Manigoat. He, was, he, was, he ended up being a crackhead, but he was supposed to be the greatest... And really? he played at Rucker Park, and that's well. That's another thing I wanted to talk to you about. I don't know why this is relevant, but Shway, the radio guy, he had an interview there, and he said that the greatest Sway, Sway, sorry, the greatest players that never played in the NBA played here at Rucker Park. And he's like, if you is were this rolling, it is rolling. Yes, Sarah clicked it. Um, yeah, and it was just incredible the history about it. Like I, I only looked at it yeah. up for like an hour, but like I definitely want to continue to look into this. Look at this. I, like, I look at this. Look at this. I, I can't oh. believe you've never heard of this. No. What I've do you never, what do I've you, definitely I saw that video of Kevin Durant pulling up, but I thought I didn't know that was Rucker Park. Like Yeah. I've that's why these, that's why it was so cool. Yeah, I've seen these videos. I just didn't know the, the history behind Rucker Park. Yeah. And uh, it's close to where the Yankees play. It's right across the river. Anyways, if I'm ever in New York, I got to I I'd really want to go to this. I think it looks amazing. Yeah. It's it's so cool. I love things like this. And that picture. Look at this picture. Look at that. Yeah, that's Anyways, crazy. It's crazy. Rucker Park. I'm, I'm going to get there. Did LeBron go? I don't think he played, no. So LeBron has to go there if he wants to be a real player. No, he's not going to go there now. Why wouldn't he go there now? Because he's already, like... <laughs> Look at this picture. It's like... Oh, picture man. Rucker Park, like... <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Anyhow. All right. Um... 
were we talking about? We what? haven't. That's we haven't talked about anything yet. Oh, we just had some good banana bread. Now I gotta tell you, after eating this banana bread, I'm normally not a big fan of banana bread. I don't. I I'd normally say I don't like banana bread, but that was good. Now that was good banana bread. There, there was, was something there different. Was, about there was that. chocolate chips in it, though. I think. That was there's a lot of chocolatey substance in general in there, and I think that's why I liked it so much. Was it was more chocolate flavored than banana flavored? Mm-hmm. When the banana over flavors the chocolate, that's when I run into problems. Well, you know how yesterday she didn't want to make it because the bananas weren't overly ripe. Yeah. Well, she went ahead and did it anyways, but she like mushed it all up for a good like twenty minutes and then put it in. The but anyways, it's still, it's, it turned out great. It was delicious. The chocolate chips, I think, really is what added it. It added a little bit more uh, chocolate. Yeah, but texture. Yeah, I find banana bread to be really dry in most cases. So when you add the chocolate chip and it melts in there, yeah, yeah. I find it to be a little bit but better. But what if the banana bread like dries? The yeah, then, I, then, then I don't really like it. But banana bread fresh out of the oven's good. It's it's a nice soft uh, bread. Yeah. But that's why muffins. I'm not really a huge fan of a lot of muffins is because I find them a lot of them dry, and I don't have a glass of milk with me or whatever. Like you don't, you don't, having a you don't drink a glass of Coke with muffins. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's 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 only Italian foods with a glass of Coke. Um, but yeah, when it comes to cookies and muffins and pastries and things like that, I need to have a drink with me to wash it down because it's such a a thick thick. Uh, you know, yeah, I got you. What time is it? Uh, nine fifty-five. It's a late one on episode thirty-two. Yeah, I was out, we, I was out having a couple of drinks with some coworkers. Was it busy on a what's today Thursday? Was it busy on a Thursday night downtown Vancouver? Yeah, yeah. I started off in Yale Town actually at this, this. See, that's where you want to drink. I, I don't know about that. Actually, no. You want to start in Gas Town. I had a great time that night. We went out. To that expensive place, I felt like I <laughs> that expensive made. Place? I felt like I made something of myself. You know, we we spent I didn't, the last money we had. The drinks I found that we had at that expensive place, the first place we went to, yeah. I found it wasn't like a huge drink, but it got me. It it did. Well, it did like, the trick. It's a it's a, a it's a true cocktail. It's it, there's there was three shots in that drink. And it was that it was that big. They, they, that's what they do is they mix different types of liquor together. They don't they don't throw orange juice in it. Mm. It's just t- to different types of liquor mixed together to make a drink that tastes good. To be quite honest, I think I would rather pay fifteen dollars for that than fifteen dollars for three beer. Absolutely. I, th- I I sip on it. You know, I'm not that mo- I'm not that. Um, you were drinking them pretty quick. I know I was, but you, I, you I feel like the I, spins. We had to leave. <laughs> you're not supposed to tell them that. Uh, you know, with beer, I would just chug a beer. But with those drinks, it kind of makes me appreciate it a little bit more. And honestly, it didn't even taste that bad. I wish it would. The I wish it would. Keep calling night tonight. Like, what are we doing? Now, I guess we'll find. Well, if, if 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 it's uh, we could do it after. I'm down. You down? Is it gonna be Sarah? Yeah. What? How late is uh, comedy night till? Um, doesn't have an end time. Okay. It's what? She said it doesn't have an end time. That. It might, yeah, we can go down. We can check. I don't have a beer somewhere, anyways. I'm itching. I just drank. I can't get my pregame on and then didn't get into the actual bar we were going to. So now I'm just like, I need a drink. We can go get a, I'll come out and get a drink with you. But when I say a drink, I mean just two drinks. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fine. Sarah, do you want to go get a drink after this? Do you work tomorrow? All right, I'll let it be. Yeah, she can't hear us. Um,. All right, what do, we, what do we got here? Do we have, do we have some fan questions? Oh, yeah. Uh, we got a fan question from Adam Flieger coming all the way from the east coast of Canada, Halifax. Let's give Adam a round of applause. Adam's Woo! question is, are you a fan of beach sports? Me? Well, I'm, a fan, I'm a fan of watching beach sports. It looks extremely difficult. Only if there's females playing. Well, okay, I, I, th- I think that you and I are both thinking automatically volleyball. Let's kind of think outside the box. What other sports can you play that are on the beach that Not aren't professionally. volleyball? Is there a prof- It's just volleyball? Yeah, what, you, Flieger, what are you talking about? You want you to just ask the real question. <laughs> Do you like beach volleyball? Yeah, I love beach volleyball. I think it's great for many reasons. It's so much better than regular volleyball. Because volleyball indoors is... Ugh. Well, I think it adds a whole nother Don't level. Don't get me wrong. I respect the amount of talent that you have to have to play it. I'm not denying that. But it just sucks to watch. I think they give a little bit more when they go for the dive. Because if you're diving on hardwood floor, it's like, eh, yeah, I don't know if I'm really going for that full dive. But if you're diving on sand, yeah, you're going to go for it 100%. And they all have nice tans. It's, it's a win-win. 
Yeah, you don't play volleyball and you might dive shitty when weather. you don't have to into the sand because it's fun to S- dive in sand. A big old sand in the mouth. Oh, that, yeah, that's but, the worst yeah, part they, about they've it. They've already gotten it. They're used to that. They're used to it. Yeah, and that's the thing. You don't wear shoes when you play volleyball, so you don't have to worry about getting sand in your shoes. Yeah. But then again, if you're a girl and you have long hair, but you get a lot of sand in your hair, that would suck. Yeah, they have showers. I guess they also wear those hats. They wear like the visor caps. Oh, the visor. It's still, I guess it's the ice still on the hair. hair. Yeah. Sunglasses. I always thought would be a big challenge for volleyball players yeah. playing outside because they knock off baseball players. It's fine because when they dive, it, but you, you know can what? Pick it up. I think I think they know how to dive correctly. They're not diving. They're not getting the mouth full of sand. They know what they're doing. They know how to dive. And I've noticed that they don't have the elastic on the back. They just have the you know it's just tightly. Are you there. sure? Yeah. There's definitely been some times where I've seen they don't have the elastic. Some of them on the have back. the elastic. Some of them do. I don't think I would like the elastic, to be quite honest with no, you. No, me neither. I, I, I want to take my glasses off at intermission, give my eyes an old rub right here. Because I, 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 you sweat right here. You just, you don't know. It's not, you need, I don't like the elastic. It's a little claustrophobic right. for me. Remind me not to do a fan or no fan of the sunglass elastic. Jeez. We can do that any day of the week, okay? I'll talk about it. I that already know what the answer is. Um, but Adam, to answer your question, yes, I am a fan of uh, beach sports. I think they're great. Um, I like playing like soccer or football on the beach it's fun see i didn't even think about that that's a great I like playing yeah go are you a fan of the beach no i know you're not a fan I'm of swimming not, i'm not a beachman or what uh okay well because i can't I'll swim and i'm just i feel like when you get sand in those inconvenient places it's the sacrifice you make to go swimming if i can't swim then i'm getting yeah. sand everywhere for what the sun, the sun's all over the place. Yeah, that's true. I, but I am a fan of uh, the frisbee on the beach, football on the beach, even a baseball on the beach. Yeah, One of those Nerf balls. I, I get those, it. Those Nerf. I get it. You know, I don't hate it. Mm. I just. I'm it's not, nice. If there's a nearby beach, like I'll go to Kitts Beach. I'm not driving from Halifax to Queensland Beach. When, That's a big difference. When you went to LA, did you go to Santa Monica? Yeah. Or yeah did, we you, did you like those beaches? We didn't go sand like in, onto the beach. We just biked around and shit. Okay. Those, well, those are the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, they're, they're uh, some, actually they're no. serious. Barcelona, then LA. But some very nice beaches out there on the west coast of the United States of America. Yeah, I'm sure there are. Um, other fan question comes from Carly Hawks. Carly, what's up? It's a difficult question to ask or to answer. What is the question, Justin? Does size really matter? Does size really matter? Yeah. Why does Carly, who knows both of us, think that either of us know? Because neither of us have taken a penis before. I don't think you have. I know I haven't. Have no, you? I haven't. I've never no. taken one. Um, so, Carly, how about this? It, we're going we're gonna to fire this question back at you. And you let us know. Because we're both dying to know. Does size really matter? Does it matter? I'd like to know. Yeah. It's, I'm curious. No one, no, Nobody I knows. I don't think any man knows. I guarantee she's going to say that the answer is it's not the size, it's how he uses it. I guarantee that's what that's gonna, she's going to say. Or she might not say anything. She Let us know, respond. Carly. We're, we're, we're dying to know. And we'll, we'll give your answer on the next podcast. Great question, though. Great question. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a question of the ages. The fact. And, and, and every, every female gives their answer. Yeah. And they almost all say no, but no one really believes it. You notice that? What do you say? We're saying that again? Because most women say, no, it doesn't matter. But if that's the case, then why is the question keep being asked? You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, wow. Why what is that? What's, that? What, is, it, is it distrust? Do we not trust this answer? Dishonest? They're not telling the truth? They like to keep men puzzled? They How like about to keep this? Them- you answer this whole question and not just a size matter. Why does the question keep getting asked if we supposedly know the answer, but no one believes Hmm. The answer. Why does why doesn't anyone believe the answer? Is it the the question is bigger than what we think it is? Because does the size of the women, question matter? I think women will if women have sex with a man and the sex isn't good, and the and the guy doesn't really have much going for him socially, looks anything like that. I think a girl would leave that guy. I think sex comes down to a huge huge role in it, and if the guy's not using what he has to his full advantage. I, I, I'm but honestly saying that there's girls in today's society that would leave that guy. That's, that's, not, just, that's not the question, though. That has nothing to do with the question. 
And that's a misunderstanding. No, but I, I know. I'm just kind of going off the rails here. I'm going okay. off the rails a little bit about it. But does size really matter? You tell us, Carly. Tell I'd us. like to know. You're, this is the first time we answer you, the fan question with a podcast question. Oh, I just stepped on the dog's face. We're taking care of the dogs again. The dogs are back. Marley and Miga. They're extremely grumpy today. Are they? Yeah, well, it's their first night away from their parents again. So, But they didn't wait at the top of the stairs like last time. So they know they're here for the long haul. Yeah. Is it who's body? Me or Marley? I don't know. That's Miga, the fat one. Fat Miga. Uh, all right, what, what else do we have on the, on the old docket tonight? So, uh, as we mentioned, I was out with some co-workers having some drinks. You gotta love a nice co-worker having some drinks. An individual named Omar. 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 I love an Omar. It's a great name. Comes from no a one's com- ever mad at Comes from Omar. a country named Libya. Libya. Let me look that up. Anyways. Anywho, why don't you listen to this? Alright. He carries two wallets. One fake wallet in case he gets robbed. And he gives him the fake wallet. He's never been robbed. I don't know. At least in North America. But apparently this is a common thing in, in some Middle in Eastern. Libya? In African and Middle Eastern countries. Uh, I don't know whether to laugh or to No, we laughed. Clap. Don't worry. I, la- I laughed. I made, I made fun of it. I mean, it is smart. It is smart if it's going to happen. He was, like, I feel that's the same thing as wearing a helmet when you're driving. It's just... That's a good... You know, it's, it might happen, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is it really necessary? Is it worth the headache? Is just think, how many pockets do you have on a day-to-day basis? You would use two wall- But if you put a wallet in each pocket, then all of a sudden you're not off kilter. That's true. But, but here's you, you got to put a lot of fake thing. things in When we wallet. left work, he forgot his real wallet at work, and he only had his fake wallet. So what did he do? Did he pan out fake IDs? Is the fake stuff his? No, he didn't have fake IDs. He just couldn't pay for his, his meals. So but did, someone else had to pay for it. <laughs> but does, my question is, what does he have in his fake wallet? Oh, I didn't get... I should have asked. See, I'd like to know if he just has a bunch of fake cards in there, a bunch of fake like business cards. I don't, I don't think he has all fake... Or fake money. He's got he's got some old cards maybe some maybe like twenty bucks or something. I'd be very impressed if he had just a bunch of like fake money, fake credit card, fake debit card, fake ID, just a, a fake everything. Then that would be pretty That's impressive. That's the best bait wallet I've ever. Yeah. 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 Omar carrying the fake wallet. I kind of respect it to be quite honest with you. I it's it's something I've never heard of. It makes sense, but at the same time, it's completely unnecessary. I feel like this guy has really really good insurance on a lot of things. But he no he. But judging from where he's come from and what he said, what things he's said about mm. where he's from, it makes a little bit of sense. Have you it? ever been pickpocketed? Never pickpocketed, no. Robbed? Yeah, at a young age. Look what got taken from you. Like my hat. Oh, well, that's, yeah, I guess. I got jumped and stuff, though. I got uh, pickpocketed in Europe, sunglasses. I was an idiot. I was on the subway, and I put my sunglasses, like, in my, just this pocket, like the jean pocket. I got off the subway, went to reach. Oh, that was your. That was. It was my. It was my mistake, and I learned from it. And to that day, I've never been pickpocketed. You got to learn from mistakes like that. People can't make them twice. <laughs> That's the one you shouldn't have made the first time. There's Shaq right there at uh, Rucker, Rucker's. No, Rucker. Netherlands Noel. Did he play? I know. This is awesome. Uh, this is or not this. This is the coolest picture of all time. Of all time. A lot of all time. The other picture is pretty cool, but... He's on his cell phone. Who's he talking to? (laughs) Jay-Z and LeBron at probably age 19. That's a cool picture. We should do a podcast at Rucker Park. We're not welcome at Rucker Park. Isn't there a jail called Rucker's Island in New York? Rikers Island? Rikers Island. Yeah, there definitely is. That's where... uh, yeah, Rikers Island, New York. That's where Lil Wayne went to jail. Is it? Yeah. All right, so it's time for... Wait a minute, Justin. What's up? You did the beach sports that was supposed to be a fan or no fan, and you did it under fan question. Come uh, on, man. That's my fault. Who is wasted, too? It's okay. I just I can't do anything right. It's time we moved on to Tupperware. There's a lot to talk about Tupperware. Tupperware? Tupperware. Tupperware. You wanted to know if it was really... You want to know if it was as valuable as we think. And I'm going to go on a limb and say it's one of the most underappreciated dishes or or even 
even containers that we use. The Tupperware, it's changed, it's changed the whole dynamic of lunch. I think it's changed the whole dynamic of leftovers. I think they go hand in hand. Yeah, because lunch is... Who really makes lunch? Lunch is usually just a leftover from dinner. Oh, oh man, this is such a depressing conversation. How we all just eat garbage all the time. I hate Tupperware now. If there was no Tupperware, we'd be eating fresh food all the time. Is Tupperware a double-edged sword? What's the one food that you like that's left over? I know my answer right now, but do spaghetti? you Spaghetti? Yeah, spaghetti. What's yours? I like spaghetti because the sauce, the pasta sauce gets into the... No blind dates. No blind dates. NBD. It's like you think about it like the spaghetti and the spaghetti sauce have been fucking for like overnight. And they really know each other. And then you heat it up again. And then you put it in your mouth? I'm getting level with you. You just stop saying this whole blind date in your mouth thing, Justin. I'm not... It's real super, super gay. No blind dates. I'm going to stick with it. Um, well, yeah, what, what's your favorite leftover thing? I'm going to say spaghetti. No spaghetti? Okay, fair enough. On, on another note, back to Tupperware. What's your favorite type of Tupperware? The plastic? The, the glass? The plastic that clips over instead of pushes down? Yeah, I'm going to have to go glass. The one that clicks. The glass? The glass click? The glass click. The, there's something really satisfying about a click. The glass click feels safer than the plastic click. The glass click is extremely, ins- extremely uh, ensuring. You put that in your backpack or your briefcase, whatever the hell you're putting you're in. You're not getting in to go tomato to sauce on your homework. Nothing's getting out or of that. Your, or your Johnson files. Nothing is getting out of that glass case. But then you use your plastic Tupperware and you kind of... It's the not... It's not over, over time, the plastic starts to... Bend and then the cap doesn't fit quite as yeah. well. That's the one thing I hate that when caps don't fit on their they're supposed to be um, container. That's why I have beef with round containers. I find it's a common problem. That's why I have beef at Starbucks when I buy the, the coffee lid and I, I can never find out which one fits. I traveled a long way at lunch today to get a coffee. I found a pizza joint you're gonna love. How much is a, a slice? Three bucks. Is it worth it? Yeah, you uh, you walk in and you could go inside, or there's a hole in the side of the building, and you just go up. And their kitchen is you like you put your head in the like the drive-through window, and they just make the pizza right in front of you. And Interesting. It's incredible. Drive-through window. It's For a pizza. drive-through. It's a walk. Oh, it's a walk. It's right on the sidewalk. That's incredible. It's right by. The, I love that. It's right by that basketball court I was telling you about. I'm excited to go check this out. Yeah. Gonna, where where do you say it was? Ga- downtown Yale Town? Sta- no, no, it was downtown slash gas town. Around the border of Gas Town. Okay. So it's almost like by where you work kind of Georgia. Yeah, it's like it's like two blocks away. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'm down to check it out. Tomorrow if I have enough energy after work, let's do it. Or do you want to do the podcast first? I don't I don't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. we we'll, we don't think that far ahead. Yeah. What pushes your buttons, Tommy? You wanna know what pushes my buttons? What does push your buttons? This is directed at the homeless people out there. Homeless. Now, I've always stood up for you. Can I have some change? I've always respected... I don't want to say respected. I've always tried to understand you, and I've always been kind to you. But if I talk to you, and I go down the street, and then on my way back, you ask me for change like I wasn't just talking to you, it's, it, it hurts. It hurts. I think I'm making a connection with somebody. I think you're somebody I think you're somebody who is misunderstood and you're in 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 our interaction is something important that society needs more of and I walk away from that feeling like the world's a little bit of a better place because I talked to this person and we understood each other. It's it's And I come back the other way and you don't know who I am. I know who you are. It's nice to make uh, relationships with homeless people, especially homeless people that work outside of where you work. It's nice to say, hey, Bill, hey, Bob, you know, it's, it's yeah. nice, I like it. You yeah. know, I'll give you a dollar, I'll give you two dollars every now and then. But when you play the, when you play the card of we don't know, I don't know you, you don't know me every single day, I, can, I understand where you're coming from. It can get extremely old and then I just don't want to talk to you anymore. Just because you're homeless, you don't, get, you don't get a free pass. You're a human, I'm a human. You still have the same rules that everyone has to live within when it comes to social society. Yeah, you might not have a home. That doesn't, make, that doesn't give you the right to not recognize me. Well, that was a great finishing of the sentence. Um, yeah, I like that. That was good. I, don't like the, I like that that pushes your buttons a little bit. That's yeah, fair. A lot Especially push- in a city of Vancouver where homeless is... Uh, 
Unfortunately, it's rising. Yeah. It's not it's not good out here. That's for sure. Miga, what's up? You getting up? Nope. Oh, Miga. How are you so fat? Your brother's not fat. Miga. Oh, don't hit the cord. All right, is it? All right, I think I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm done. We're good. Thank you very much for listening. We appreciate it. And we're out. We appreciate you. Hey guys.